here, let's move these guys off to the side here. Oh, and see, <laughs> and that's why uh, those are the cheap ones. Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are talking about tripods. Now, tripods are probably one of the first purchases outside of a camera, maybe some audio equipment like a shotgun mic. Tripods are like one of the first things that people buy when they're starting out in uh, video or photos or they just like having a camera around. Everyone probably has a tripod. Um, today we're gonna be talking about the different styles of tripods, um, the different sizes, different uh, expenses, and what, what one might be best for you. Um, so today we're gonna start down here on the left. Um, I have a variety of tripods. I do a lot of video work. Uh, I do freelance video work. I do YouTube videos. I do wedding videos. I, I, I have a big array of needs uh, for different types of equipment. So I have quite an arsenal of different um, gear. So we're gonna start down here. Uh, I had these little guys for quite some time. Um, these are just, I got these on Amazon. They're, I think they're like four, maybe $5 a piece. Um, these ones are Ubi size. Uh, they're just tiny little tripods. I normally use them for GoPros. Um, just slap a GoPro up here. You can uh, tie it to anything. It, they're bendy. They're 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 sturdy, but they're also cheap. Um, the the ball, I say ball head, but this little plastic ball here, um, really really flimsy. Pops out super easy. Um, if you have some GoPros or want something cheap, if you have a small little camera like this, this is a Canon G7X Mark II. Um, the the thread, you can just thread it on here. This would this size tripod would be. Um, good for a tiny camera like this, just like a little point and shoot. Um, the weight capacity on this is not great. Um, so, I mean, even here, if I turn this to the side, see, you just, a, I mean, it'll stay, but a little bit of movement there, it, it just kind of flops around. The ball head is not great. So that's why like a GoPro, um, like a this is an old Hero 4 that I have, but like something like this size of a small little action cam is great for this cheap little iPod or this cheap little tripod. You can, um, you can put any GoPro mounts through this thread, um, have it on here. You can do some vlogging, uh, get some fun action shots, uh, wrap this around your bike handlebars or something like that. Um, but other than that, like I would not put, I mean, like I said, even, even a camera like this, a point and shoot, I would not, I wouldn't probably wouldn't trust something like this. Um, GoPros find they're durable anyway. So if it does happen to fall off this tripod, it's not that big of a deal, but a couple bucks on Amazon. If you're just starting out, you might as well try it. Um, it's worth it. I have a couple of them. I time up to things all the time for, with my GoPros. Moving from that, from like a cheap, smaller tripod like that, bendy, flexible, is this is the Joby 1K tripod. Now, it almost looks identical to, to this guy right here, which it pretty much is, except the fact that this is way more high quality and a much better build. This tripod, I think, is around, I think it's around $30. Um, I'll confirm that right here, but um, these legs are uh, built just ridiculously well, really sturdy when you bend them around something, it's going to stay. Uh, you can kind of manipulate it in any way, shape or form that you want, similar to this one, but like I said, this one, you put it around something, it's not guaranteed that it's gonna stay. The tripod head on this one, same, same size thread, but uh, it has a little nice dial here. You can move this this guy around side to side And it's super sturdy the locking mechanism from Joby is um, it, They know what they're doing. It, it's built very very well. Uh, the reason I got this tripod was actually for this um, Point-and-shoot camera again like a size like this um, Is this, this camera size is perfect for this size of tripod and um, if you thread it on here, this is perfect for 
doing some photography, you can uh, tie this around a tree branch um, and you don't have to worry about the camera coming off the thread or the ball head moving. Um, you, can, you can vlog with the size tripod pretty perfectly. It works well. Um, it, so that's why I got this one. A um, little bit more expensive, but built well, you know it's gonna hold on to your camera gear. And again, tripods are, are meant for stability, for getting uh, still shots so that you're not uh, fumbling around with the camera. If you're doing video, you can just ha having a good, a better multi-point grip on something, you can get still still movement shots, even if you wanted to go like something like this. Um, so it, it, th that's why tripods are beneficial. Um, moving on, so like I was saying, this, uh, this size camera, this point and shoot size is probably like the max that I would put on this 1K. And um, the next step up here, they, from Joby, they have a uh, Gorillapod, it's a 3K. Um, that again can hold uh, point and shoot cameras like this, some smaller compact DSLRs or smaller mirrorless cameras. Um, that size could fit that. But if you jump up to, this is also from Joby, this is the Joby 5K Gorillapod. Now, as you can see, this guy's a little bit uh, more beefy than the 1K. Um, it's got a much bigger legs. I mean, one of the legs is, <laughs> is the size of this guy. The uh, legs are built super, super strong. Again, move them in any direction that you want. Flexibility comes with this really, really, really nice ball head on it. Um, many points of, uh, of movement here. Uh, this side dial here uh, adjusts um, the slide on the, head, the, the ball head here. Uh, you can have nice panning shots. Um, this knob here adjusts the actual ball head itself. So you can adjust the angle movement off to the side however you want. Also comes with a nice removable uh, plate that just screws onto the bottom of your camera and then you can so you can easily take your camera on and off and keep the plate on there again now this is um, I'm recording with both my cameras up there but um, this would be a great for a, a bigger DSLR camera a bigger mirrorless camera I've I, I've seen people put some I can't remember what the exact payload is uh, weight on this. I think it's recommended like 10 to 13 pounds, somewhere around there, like 9 to 12 or something. Um, but you can just take this plate, screw it onto the bottom of your camera. Once you have these plates on here, it's super nice. You can just easily transition them on and off. So you just turn this dial here and then that, that it, camera is locked in there and use it uh, as your daily kind of vlogging camera. I, I'll, this, is, this is, I would say, this size tripod and this specific one, actually, the 5K, is probably the most popular tripod amongst fellow YouTubers and, and people who do vlogs and videos. And it's just really sturdy. Um, I know they've come out with like things like the Switch Pod that have tried competing with Joby, which they do a very well job. I have not tried that yet, but I know a lot of people are switching over to that for the vlogging style videos. But overall, really happy with this purchase. Um, just overall a really nice camera. Now moving on from these smaller tripods, now we get into the bigger, here, let's move these guys off to the side here. Oh, and see, <laughs> and that's why uh, those are the cheap ones. <laughs> so this guy here, is a Manfrotto element. Now, this one I would say is more of a photography tripod, if you wanted to call it that. Um, the reason people s diversify photography versus videography is um, video uh, tripods normally have a little bit bigger legs. They have more of a fluid head tripod, which I actually, the, the cam my main camera here that I'm recording on, I'm recording on a Manfrotto monopod, uh, that is has the Manfrotto video fluid head tripod on it. I'll get you a shot of that so you can see what I'm talking about. But this guy here is just, I, this was uh, 
one of my most happy purchases. I was using this, I don't even know what it's called, a Sunpack 6060XL. It's my old dad's, my dad's old tripod from, he's had it for like 20 years and I took it from him <laughs> a while back, but uh, it's all beat up now. I used it for a long time, but it's just a super, super cheap, probably, it was, it was probably cheaper than, than this guy. It was probably like 20 bucks or something. But you know, a tripod's a tripod. It just has to hold the camera if you're doing still videos like this. But this guy is so versatile. So it gets super compact when it's um, small. I can put it right around the back of my backpack. Um, these legs, built. it's super sturdy. These legs on it, the Manfrotto legs, these little knobs you twist and extend, it has, goes all the way out to one, two, three, four, four different lengths. Uh, you can adjust them however you want. Nice sturdy bottom feet here. Um, the comes with a fluid head, again, very similar to the Joby 5K. Um, nice fluid head, spins around for panoramic, you know, loosens up the ball head, comes with a nice plate again. And the reason I got this one is if I am like vlogging or doing some sort of video work, if I have this up on like a tree or something, I can easily switch my cameras back and forth because it's the same exact plate that goes on there. Um, and the other nice thing about this is the legs uh, are adjustable. You put them at any angle that you want. And the final thing that I really liked about this is I wanted to get one that was monopod capable. So you just unscrew this leg here. I'm not gonna do the whole process for you, but you can unscrew this leg, take this head off of that, and the head actually screws right into this leg so that you have a monopod leg if you're doing, uh, let's say some travel photography or wildlife photography, and you don't wanna lug around the whole, um, the whole tripod, you could just take the leg and the head. Um, which is really cool. So those are kind of the different varieties of tripods that you could have. Um, I would say just kind of figure out what your needs are. Like if you're starting out as a YouTuber, do you, are you doing desk videos like I'm doing here where you need a still camera a tripod? Um, you'd want to go with something like this. Oh, I forgot to mention this is probably... I think it goes a little over $100. So I have anywhere from $5, $20, $120 to right around almost $200. So um, big, big range. Like ask yourself, what are you doing? Like, are you vlogging? Um, do you need a flexible tripod that can go on different positions that you're putting in the grass, putting up in trees, vlogging with? Are you um, doing more standing still shots, like desk videos like this, where you want something sturdy and... Um, portable, but can uh, uh, keep your camera still and, and sturdy. Um, are you, are, what size camera do you have? Do you have a small compact point and shoot like this? Do you have a big DSLR, um, smaller mirrorless camera? Those are all, all questions that you wanna ask yourself before you buy a tripod. But hopefully this gives you an idea of what options are out there um, for, for exactly what your needs are. But um, again, Ask yourself, what, what do you need it for? What are you using it for? Uh, hopefully this was helpful. Again, thank you for watching. And hopefully um, this give you some insight. Make sure to click like, really helps me out. Uh, make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys.